Well, here we are back here today. It's uh, the middle of a heat wave. That's right. It's like, like 36 degrees Celsius today. I don't know if that is in Fahrenheit, but it seems pretty hot. So what we got to do is we got to put this Subaru back together today and uh, maybe load up a Camry and go deliver it. So in the heat wave, we got all the, all the essentials we need, which is a liter and a bit of water, what is that, ounces? No idea. And a monster. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the whole front end apart on this. We got struts and axles to do. I'm probably gonna put the springs into the new spring holders. That way I have complete struts for the other car. Sorry, the um, just in case they go again. So let's start uh, taking this thing apart and accessing some of the damage. Yo, yo, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. So I built that strut that you guys see me just build, and I was gonna put it in driver's side, but then I realized it was, sorry, I was gonna put it in pass side, but then I realized it was driver's side. So we did the driver's side, so it's all back together now. I do find it cool that the top bolts on all these Subarus are um, camber bolts. So we'll probably be keeping those for some of our Camrys. As you guys know that I like to tweak the cambers on some of them, just to try to get those tires as straight as possible. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this one apart and then build that strut. I did realize on these ones that you can't tighten up this 17 mil bolt all the way or else it won't turn. So we just got to tighten up these 12s and this side here is done. You got the tire on and everything. So let's go do the other side. But I did notice that this is a little tight to these pulleys. So that rad support is going to be gonzo. So we got both sides all put together. The axle was a little harder to come out than the junkyard axles, so that wasn't too bad. But we have a pop tire now. These things were not doubled, they're just put on there. So I did find one more tire that I could put on it. The only downside is underneath that Chevy. I think that's the tire I want. It's kind of in use a little bit. So we'll, we'll get her out. Uh, I think that one is better than that one. So I want this one. Let's get this one out. So we got this one loaded. We haven't talked about this one yet. It's uh, a transmit a Toyota that has transmission issues. The buddy needs a derby car, so we sold it to him. 
So this one's gone. It's one of the cameras I wanted to get rid of. It's not perfect. But let's take a look at the Subaru. We got the rad support cutout. So much more room for activities. Uh, I think we have a problem with this heater hose down here. I think it melted against the header. So we're going to have to rework that just a bit before it goes back in the ring. Maybe try to tuck her down and away or something back here. I don't know. We'll have to do something because I don't want that to be our fail point. Uh, we got the tire on. The tire was actually at the correct bolt pattern that came from underneath that Chevy, which I don't even know what that thing's off of. I don't know what I've bought in the last year that has a 16 inch rim on 5 on 100 because I haven't bought any Cavaliers and I don't know, but whatever, it's on there. And uh, so she's all fixed, honestly, guys. I think she's ready to go, other than it needs a battery put back into it because the battery was stolen. Not stolen, stolen, but like a buddy borrowed it. And we need to fix the rad hose, fill her up with water. And she's good for round two. So, I don't know guys. I'm not going to replace the bumper because I really don't think it's worth replacing. I think it's more or less likely that it's just a piece of junk and that's where it's going to stay. So, screw it. And uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, the next run of the Subaru will be coming up. When? I don't know. Where? I don't know. But it's ready. And it's ready to go. So thanks for watching guys, and uh, we'll see you here, back here on Zach's workshop. Little work left to do, we're not going to do anything with the back, because you guys are telling me to leave the hatch. So I'm going to leave that hatch. Um, and the bumper you guys did tell me to change, but I don't think it's really worth it, and I'm starting to run out of bumper, so I'm going to leave it. The frame is starting to kink just a bit back here, as you can see it there. So I think that it's, this will probably be the last run of it. Hopefully it has a good run. Hopefully it just doesn't get a strut knocked over again. But we do have spare ones and a spare axle. So if the Derby does have heats, we can fix our junk. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you back here later on Zach's Workshop.